like to introduce uh, someone in our audience who will be a part of this next presentation. Uh, great friend of our next honoree, uh, the athletic director at uh, Boston College, uh, Mr. Gene DeFilippo. Gene, would you please stand to be recognized? Uh, right over here. Did bring Yorkie with you tonight? Did Yorkie come tonight? Those non-Trinity Academy kids are always pretty good cannon fodder for about a, you know, a few stories. Yorkie is being one of the lesser athletes presently in the York family and would be even better cannon fodder. Nick Pappas, Jr., the class of 1969. Nick is uh, being inducted tonight for what has been an exceptional career. One part of it, as a matter of fact, I had some part in his start because Dick Berardino and I coached his freshman football team uh, or that went on to be part of the 0-9 squad. <laughs> <laughs> the great job of building fundamentals by Berardino and I. <laughs> he immediately uh, made his career as a baseball coach and I escaped to hockey. And that's, the way, that's the way it worked out. Nick was a three-sport athlete at Watertown High School. There were nine varsity letters and won an array of awards, including the prestigious Hoyt Thurman Trophy as the year's most outstanding student athlete. He was an all-Middlesex League a middle infielder in baseball, an outstanding player for Legion as well. Played uh, the football team, was a good football player, went on to play as a defensive end, Division II at Springfield College. Played basketball, was a good high school basketball player as well. But when he graduated from Springfield with his Bachelor of Science in Physical Education in 1973, he emerged into what was going to be the most productive part of his career. He spent a year coaching high school basketball in Montreal, creating a team that had not been there before. In 1975, he came back to Massachusetts to coach at Minuteman Regional Tech in Lexington. Once more, for the second time, he initiated an entire program. 1981, he was named the Massachusetts Coaches Association Coach of the Year. And he brought that team to the tournament in five of his last six years. 1984, Nick went on to coach at Melrose High School and he continued his winning ways. 1986-87 season, Melrose qualified for the Division I tournament for the first time in 14 years. And just two years later, they were regionally ranked by USA Today, going 18 to nothing in the tough Middlesex League, 18 and 0. They rolled all the way to the state division finals before falling to a great Cambridge Ridge and Latin team and ended the season 21 and 2. Nick was a Globes Coach of the Year in Division I, earning like honors in the Middlesex League, the Massachusetts Coaches Association. Melrose returned to the tournament 11 years in a row through 1997, marking 20 straight coaching years of over 500 for teams that Nick coached. Melrose peaked at a 15, number 15 statewide ranking in its run to the sectional finals in 1996. His basketball coaching record is an amazing 340 wins, 172 losses, a 6-6-4 winning percentage over a quarter, of, a quarter of a century of varsity coaching. He's the winningest all-time coach at Miniman, and he's the winningest all-time coach at Melrose, and he's striving to be the winningest all-time coach at Burlington. He's long contributed hours to service in the basketball community, the Massachusetts Basketball Coaches Association, the National Association of Basketball Coaches, has been involved in the Wingland Bay Basketball School in Northeastern. He's run the Fast Break Basketball School at Melrose High since 1984. He now is the Head of Physical Education in the Health Department at Minuteman Region. Nick has had an extraordinary career as a coach. He's an outstanding player here at Watertown High School, but his extraordinary contribution has been what he gave back to the community when he gave back to the youth of Melrose and the youth of Minuteman with his commitment to basketball, but more than that, with his consi consistent commitment to young people 
and teaching them the important values that, in some ways, only coaches can teach. I'd like to introduce to you, in the class of 1969, I'd like to ask Dean Filippo to come forward to make the presentation. Nick Pappas, Jr., class of 1969. Uh, 
stated at his induction into the National Basketball Hall of Fame up in Springfield in 1991, and I quote, a basketball player enters the Hall of Fame on his ability. A basketball coach enters the Hall of Fame on the ability of his players. I've been very blessed with so many great individuals over the course of 28 years of, of coaching high school basketball. Uh, the sacrifice, the dedication, the desire, the loyalty that all my former players have, uh, have possessed is really the true reasons